Oh, welcome to Tampa. You're watching the Big Three Playoffs. It is presented by Lucky 29 Vodka. Here's a look at what we've got. Power taking on the three-headed monsters. The winner heads to the championship game, and they'll take on the defending champions trilogy, who just won and punched their ticket to the championship game. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Custer alongside my guy, Jim Jackson. So we've got one team in the championship game. Yep. Now we've got these two teams battling it out. Hey, look, these two teams fought in the championship game back in 2018. Yeah, but can Power get back to the finals where they wanted before? Three-headed monsters have been there in the past but haven't been able to complete the deal. So we have a lot of storylines going on. Hopefully it's as competitive as game one. Let's take a look at the rosters. They're brought to you by PNC Bank. Richard Lewis is the captain, but Kevin Murphy is the guy who leads the three-headed monsters and, you know, the captain for power, Katino Mobley. But let's talk about Kevin Murphy. A.K.A. Buckets. You know, 20 plus, plus points every game he's played this year does it in a variety of ways. Kind of a lot like we saw with Isaiah Briscoe, not the power, but the finesse to get to the basket. And speaking of finesse, Glenn Rice Jr will beat you in so many different ways. Been a surprise to the league, but a great surprise for power. Catino Mobley doesn't have to carry the load as much as Big Glenn Rice Jr. Not getting big time shots. Nancy Lieberman leads that power squad. She was coach of the year in 2018 when her team won it all. And she's still coaching power. As for the three-headed monsters, well, they're led by Reggie Theus. This is his first season coaching the three-headed monsters, and he has led them to basically, look, being right. the number two seed here and ended to the playoffs. Listen, how hot has this team been? Well, since, I mean, you've got to go back to, like, week prior to week eight where they just lost but before that they hadn't lost since week one that's how hot well, three well, think about this i think reggie theas appreciates this more than anything because he had his struggles with big boy for not making the playoffs and not winning games now he's able to transfer a lot of that knowledge to this team draft well a second year player in murphy understanding how to play i think quincy miller adds so much value and Reggie is enjoying the moment, but understanding that the bigger picture ultimately is to close the deal, which is to get to the championship and then end up winning it. Kevin Murphy, he's got the rock. Quincy Miller, Richard Lewis, that's the three-headed monsters. And Murph pulls that three, gets his own board, follows it up. No good. Mobley, the rebound. Glenn Rice Jr., the three, it's short. Yeah, but that's where you want to keep, keep kind of Glenn Rice Jr. Not that he can't make it, not as efficient from behind the three-point line as he is. But he gets that body inside the arc. Royce White, Katino Mobley, and Glenn Rice Jr. at the power squad. Good time inside to Royce White. He couldn't handle it. Three seconds on the shot clock. As the cat, Katino Mobley, he'll inbound. Here's Cat. Good block. Blocked. Murphy. And he knocks down the first two points of the game. But that's great awareness by Quincy Miller because he knew the shot clock, time, and score. And that's something that Reggie Thea has talked about for his team, not just offensively, but defensively. That Catino had to get it up quick, able to get the block, and once again, you do that, you take advantage, you end up with a lane. You know, this three-headed monster squad has been in the playoffs every season. Oh, the big three is Royce White showing the power. And Royce can play a huge role if ultimately power advances to the title because of what Glenn Rice Jr. has been able to do, keep the court spread. Royce White is very capable of being a dominant player, not from the free throw line. Now. Oh, <laughs> just shot an air ball. Man. There's Nancy Lieberman, Hall of Famer. Miller, Murph. Step back. 
comes off. Miller the board. Nice. He says he's just too small, man. That brother's too small. But he didn't play with it, though. I mean, a lot of times when you have the size advantage, you want to keep backing and backing. That time, a couple of dribbles, little jump hook over the left shoulder. Easy money. Here's Rice. Inside the white. And he got away with a little travel. Yeah, he thought he got it fouled as well. He got hit. Murph. Kevin Murphy. Right, that time Murph had the advantage, but he had Glenn Rice Jr. backpedaling, so he made the smart decision just pulling for a nice little 15 foot jump shot. Murphy leads the big three in scoring at 25 a game. So cat may not have his cat quickness. Speaking of which, right here, Murphy able to pull up, but he slides a cat that yeah. time, able to get to oh, yeah. the baseline. Pick up the foul, and we got our first one early. Yeah, Reggie didn't wait. Reggie D is wasting no time on his bring the fire challenge. He didn't like the foul call, so here's the deal. Medina Mobley, Quincy Miller gonna go one-on-one. -on -one. Cat, if he can score it, they get the point. But if Quincy Miller can get that defensive stop, three-headed monsters get the rock. Here we go. Cat pulls up, fades, no good. No but Cap wanted to get, think about it, he's a left-handed player. He wanted to get right because now he can shoot that quick left-hand pull-up, even if his shoulders are not square, as he's going to the opposite hand, but that time a little bit long. Nearly stolen by Glenn Rice Jr. In case you're wondering, these two teams met in week two. Three-headed Monsters won that one by six, 50 to 44. Miller, again Rice. Miller coming up with the steal. Yeah, and that, and that <clears throat> game wanted to see good defense here and good hustle. Glenn Rice Jr., 17 points. Eight rebounds, Kevin Murphy, 23 points. Didn't attempt a three-pointer in that game. Kevin Murphy did. Here's Cat. Yes! You gotta close the Cat's body. If you don't, that lefty is still pure from behind the arc. Hey, my man Cat can do this in his sleep, and this is good awareness. Good hands and concentration to kind of catch that off the bounce to knock it in. Here's Richard Lewis. Working on Catino Mobley, and that's short. <laughs> Richard started laughing when he, when he put that good defense by Cat to use two hands to keep Richard out the lane. But again, if, if the official is going to allow you to play like that, you use that to your advantage defensively. Here's Glenn Rice Jr. working on Murph. Towers his way in. Oh, this one's going to be physical. Seven to six, our score. Quincy steps into a three. Missed it. <laughs> With the bear hug on Richard Lewis. The two vets going at it. So you know you're wrong a lot of times. You kind of argue the call, but you don't. Is the non-verbal <laughs> argument which Cat gave to the official right there. Uh, Rice Jr. able to utilize his size on that one. Here's Murph. Throws that one up. Miller to follow, and he's fouled. Well, talking to Nancy Lieberman, too, she said that what they wanted to do was force Kevin Murphy to give the ball up, become a passer. She said he shot... 155 field goal attempts for the year. That means he's dominating in that area. And don't foul him at the end of his dribble. That's when he picks up a lot of fouls. It's, he gets by, you play good defense, and then he baits you into reaching. And then it may be a tough shot that you bail him out on and he gets to the free throw. Miller misses that free throw. Here's Rice for three, and he's fouled. Oh, 
tap that arm right there. And you lunge like that. This part of the composure part, Reggie Theus talked to me about is about his team. When you get to this point here, some calls are not going to go your way. But you got to be able to maintain a level of composure so you can respond from that and, and don't allow that to impact how you play. Jamario Moon has checked in for the three headed monsters. There's another air ball. Couple of air balls here. Here's Murph. Strong. Lewis. Follow. No. Moon. The follow. Yes. TJ Galine has checked in as well for power. He's the son of Nancy Lieberman. And he's real active away from the basketball, too, so you have to be aware of that. The shot goes up or the dribble because he loves to cut. There he is right there. I told you, get to the basket. I, pushed, I think he pushed off that time, though. Royce White. I don't think he invited the Fisher out for some drinks or dinner afterwards. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I said, think so. I don't either. think his body language is in that. There's <laughs> Murph working on two guys. Murphy. And scoring. Three point lead for the three headed monsters. First team to 25, we head to the half. Trying to deny Glenn Rice Jr. TJ Klein, the three, no way. Rashawn Lewis, open three. No, Moon comes flying in, but it's Lewis who tracks it down. That's three, that's three, that's three. Inside the Moon, he fades. Oh my God. They'll call the foul on Klein. But good recognition that Moon had Klein. Uh, inside, good hustle by Rashard Lewis to kind of retain that possession. 4-3 at monster. It, it, the 50-50 the balls I was talking about in the first game for and Rick Mahorn talked about it. Those are very important that you win that battle. Nancy Lieberman wants to bring the fire and challenge that call. So it looks like Jamario Moon and TJ Klein We'll have to decide it. And again, here's the deal. Moon. He scores it. They get the points. If Klein gets a defensive stop, it's power basketball. And Moon knocks it down. Hey, you know what I like about that? It was good defense, but Jamario went into his move right away. He didn't play around. Listen, you're watching Big Three Playoffs. It is presented by Lucky 29 Vodka. Welcome back. Here's the shot of the day. It's presented by Lucky 29 Vodka. Earl Clark counted. Game winner in Trilogy is headed back to the championship game thanks to Earl Clark. 18 points, 14 of them in the second half. He had the big shot, but the precursor to that, see Cube chopping it up right now. Uh, oh, Titus O'Neal. Mm -hmm. you, you want some of that? Oh, no, nah, yeah, I don't nah, want none of that. I'm good bro. on that road. That, I'm good <laughs> on that road. But, you know, back to that shot, the precursor was it was the drive, drive, Isaiah Briscoe, Isaiah Briscoe, then all of a sudden you're helping you sleep. Clark. Identify where the opening was at, was able to step right in big time shot. Yeah, Trilogy back in the championship game. They will face the winner of this game. Power in the three headed monsters. Here's Glenn Rice Jr. Hangs and kisses it off the glass. His fourth point of the game. Three point lead. 
First team to 25, we go to the half. Well, I like the fact that the two best players for both teams are guarding each other as well. I know you switch at times, but they took the challenge within themselves, too, to want to guard one another. Shard Lewis. Got him. Yeah, a little push. <laughs> a lot of push. Hey, listen, stupidity returns. Mike judges Beavis and Butthead. They are back. An all new series. It's now streaming exclusively on Paramount Plus. Just use the promo code Nachos for a free month. It is Vili. Sets the pick. He'll go to the line. I talked about this last week. You can track the progress and the success of this power team to the improvement of Skeeter's view. First few games, I mean, zero points, two points, really didn't have a, was a factor. But since then, he's been so much more efficient. He's contributed on the offensive end much more and has opened up opportunities for power to be more versatile in their offense. So you talk to Nancy Lieberman, she'll tell you a lot of that had to do with the improvement of Skeeter's view. Don't forget he was the fifth overall pick in that 2002 NBA draft by Nuggets. Yeah, we were together for a quick stint with the Suns. Ah, Moon, the behind-the-back dime to Murph. Murph wasn't expecting it. Turnover. That was a tough pass. She tight, tight quarters right there to kind of squeeze that pass in. Valuing these possessions. That's a slip pass. Oh, blind. Scare scores it. That's their play. The slip, the slip cut right there. Mm -hmm. They ran that to win a game. It was just more underneath out of bounds where he slipped in and won it with a layup. How about Skittis Vili there with the defense? Uh, Jamario Moon got turned around like a pinball machine right there. But it was an easy pass also from the inbound and no resistance defensively to force that ball to go out towards half court. Power has gone on a 6-0 run here to take a one-point lead. And it looks like they want a, a coach's challenge uh, to take a look and see who that ball went out on. Did it go off on Murphy or? Let's see, here's the strip. Did he touch his right leg at all? I don't know. Skittles really came in at the end. Mm -hmm. But I think who, who challenged that? Was it uh, Skittles Billy? I think that's off the of Skittles Billy, like you said. Yeah, was it Nancy that challenged that? Or it yeah, might have been Skittles. Yeah, that's off the of Skeeter's Vili. I don't, I don't see uh, it. The challenge is successful. The ball went off. Uh, Skeeter's Vili is going to be a uh, three headed monster ball. Yeah, line. I think it was Reggie. Okay, okay. so, but, but that to me, early in the game, you're only down one point. Yeah. But he uses that challenge early for that call, which so you indicates how important each possession is. It may not seem like it in the bigger scheme of things, but to Reggie in that situation, it was more important for him to get that possession back. Jarn Lewis will inbound. Seven seconds on the shot clock for the three-headed monsters. Inside the moon. <laughs> I'll call that one on Glenn Rice Jr. Yeah, but I mean it. Well, I know they are they trying to show off for Titus over there, the pro wrestler. They want to get some run after the season to try because they were wrestling the whole time in the lane. It's like at some point, bro, when you do this stuff, you go get called for a fight. Yeah. Now I think what guys get upset about is that a lot of times it's not consistent because it's not getting called on both ends. But you get called with your hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> Prepare for it to get slapped every now and then. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh, Moon left that one short. Yeah. Dina Mobley's checked back in. They go to Skittish Vili. 
Decline. No. Follow. Yes. Hey, Jim, we're going to make it to 50 in this game? <laughs> Hey, how about 25? Can we get to 25 first? First team that 25 wins hey, it. Hey, 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 Scout, it's just excellent defense being played right now. Just physicality across the board making it tough for the offense to get rid of, right? You, right? You know, Tyler's thinking, I can do this. <laughs> Three-point lead for power. Travel. He traveled. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Hey, Scott, I was thinking this would be the perfect game for you right now. Not a lot of movement. You can be real effective at the high post. You can. You can. Now you finally find a game I can play yeah, in. There yeah, you yeah. go. You have to worry about switching on anybody. And you know, these games start out like that, but they do open up. They do. They do. Here's Catino Mobley. He's got five. Five-point lead for power. Three-headed monsters seem disjointed here. Here's Moon wide open for three. Yes. And then Scal's pointed out now we start to open up. But it, it, the scheme was make Kevin Murphy a passer, which they did. They collapsed down, put two on him. You know, fortunately for three-headed monsters, Moon was able to step out and knock in that three, but can he do that consistently is the question. He's checked in and he's giving him seven quick points. Right. Skeeter's feeling. Klein dies for it, calls the timeout. Seventeen. Fifteen. It's the playoffs. Winner heads to the championship game. It's presented by Lucky 29 Vodka. Well, each week, fans can help select the Microsoft Big 3 Player of the Week. You can go online to Big3.com or the Big 3 social media accounts to vote. And we'll reveal the results from this week's playoffs. That comes your way next Sunday during the championship game. Two-point lead here for power. Tino Mobley. Oh, good cut by Klein! I tell you what, one of the best teams in the league, underneath out of bounds, side out of bounds, of creating a shot. Now, whether you score it or not, sometimes you can't control it, but you get the shot you want, and once again, power able to capitalize. Murph oh, banks it home. Smart move. That time Murph, instead of trying to have a soft touch right there, he utilized the glass. A lot of guys don't do that. That's why Murph has been able lead this league and score and understanding angles a lot of times. He's got eight. Here's Klein. Tried to go to Catino Mobley and they're going to call that one a Murph. Watch just a little dribble handoff and backdoor cut. Murph falls asleep. And that's what I said about the activity of TJ is that he doesn't stand still. Well, how he's successful is moving. Cat misses that three. See what Murphy and Moon has done for the monsters, but the rest of the team, nothing. Basically just two. Moon again, short. Yeah, good <clears throat> discipline defense by Skidders really by not going for the original pump fake and forcing Moon. Yeah, you have to make him beat you from there. Yeah. And here's Skidders Vili. Use the glass. Miller working on climb. Tried to go to the open under. Nope. Follow, yes. 
It's physical, bro. It's physical. Yes, it is. It is physical. Look at that. The blood on the forehead of Miller. I mean, take a look at the end right here. Now, watch this. It's physical right there. The bump. Oh. That's where the heads bump right there. You saw TJ tuck the jersey on his bottom lip. Right here. Boom. Mm. Miller trying to go on the up and under. And that's where the faces there collide. And tips in his own miss. Line, blood coming from the mouth. Now, I saw some language come out. Does he know he can't use that kind of language in front of his mother? <laughs> <laughs> Be respectful right. in front of your mother. <laughs> Look at the mouth in here, TJ Klein. Language? What about uh, <laughs> the language Nancy uses to him? <laughs> I, I heard it, it, ain't, it ain't a one-way street now. Yeah, yeah. But she's the mother, so she's, come on. I don't know if she's the mom when she's coaching. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, you right about Hey, Scout, you right about that. I think it was a couple weeks ago he was mad. They went to the huddle. He was like, you got this. She said, man, shut, shut up. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, why? <laughs> There's got to be a decompression. It's got to take like an hour to decompress and go back to mom and, and son. <laughs> right, right. Now, can you imagine what that's like, though? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. No foul. Yeah. But, you know, I think over time, the scout and Brian, they've done it so long in regards to maybe her not actually coaching him, but kind of guiding through the tutelage, through workouts. He knows her body language and she's upset, or vice versa. When you see TJ, he has to leave you. They, they got to get that. They got to get that uh, blood cleaned up here before you come. Oh, what a block by Moon! He rejects his Royce White. Yeah, but you know when TJ's out the game, it, the offense operates a little differently because of his cutting ability. You don't have the same kind of action when TJ's not in the game. Another timeout. All tied up at 19. And again, the winner of this game heads to the championship to take on Trilogy. Listen, folks, Dick Pick, it is proud to be the official secondary ticket marketplace of the big three. And why pay for extra for tickets when you can get the same seats, better prices on Tick Pick? You can download the app and get the guaranteed best prices on tickets to any live event. No service fees, period. And obviously, people must have been on there. We've got a sellout here at Emily Arena here in Tampa. Next weekend, Sunday, we'll be in Atlanta for the championship game. Face of the league and co-founder Ice Cube. Sit next to Titus. Royce White lost it. Quincy Miller. Fades. The roll no good. And they say power basketball. See, we got another challenge here. Another challenge. Challenge and out of bounds. This one from Reggie. Well, it was Quincy Miller that went up to Reggie 
Theus and said the ball was out on Royce. And like that was, yeah, Royce. At the last minute, a lot of times you want to trust your players that they get yeah. it right. Better get it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. yeah. 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 A challenge yeah. on the floor is unsuccessful. It's going to be power ball out of bounds. It's a simple ball. All right, wow. that's how this works. Okay. You know this was successful. The reason he got another challenge, because if you're successful in your first challenge, you get a second one, but this thing is over. No more challenges for three-headed monster. Mm. Good call on that, Scout. Good call on that, because that time, I mean, I think you do reward the coach for yeah. getting it right so he can keep his challenge. Right. DJ Klein is returned. Push off. Nice. Push off. Count it and one. Quincy Miller. A few choice words for the officiating. Yeah, but you, I mean, again, you, if you get caught up in doing that with the officials, that's taking you away from ultimately what you're going to do with your game itself. And Quincy's just looking at the official like that. That doesn't do any good. Now you got a tech. Yep, and here comes the tech. See, and see, that's, and I go back to one of the things that Reggie Theus talked about as far as keeping your composure. Okay? Those little things now add up to power being able to knock in this still at the free throw line go to halftime with the lead and more confidence because of your mistakes your mental mistakes yeah he got a uh delay a game call on him and then the tech and cat left it short now glenn rice Junior will go to the line, shoot one for two. Or one, because he made the bucket. And they're in the bonus, so now they get the rock. Scal. TJ Klein got stitches, he's ready to go. <laughs> hey, hey Scal, guess what? Three go. points, we the 25. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Glenn Rice. Oh my <laughs> we have never seen a game like this in the Big Three. So for you guys tuning in the first time, it usually don't look like this. It's usually like that first game. Right? There's Moon. There we go. Right on time, Scout. Yeah, he'll lay that one in. There you go. One point lead for power. Moon's got nine. Here's Glenn Rice Jr. working on Murph. Spins in the lane, counting. Rice third in the league in scoring. Averages 16 a game. Oh, here's Murph. Oh, oh. for four. I, I think it was Murph had two last week. Kevin Murphy knocks down the four, and we go to the half. And the three-headed monsters with a one-point lead. Oh, he said, let's go to the half. You're watching the Big Three Playoffs presented by Lucky 29 Vodka. Winner heads to the championship game. FuboTV.com. Oh, good shot there of Tampa. Sleazy World Go. He was the halftime entertainment as the three-headed monsters and power battle it out. The winner heads to the championship game, which comes your way next weekend in Atlanta. Let's talk about this first half as Kevin Murphy hit that big four and put the three-headed monsters up one. Not fluid offensively. A little bit for physical. East possession, but I think things are maybe loosen up a little bit in this second half. Both teams, I think, argued a little bit too much with the officials, which didn't allow their offense to kind of work. Give, give credit to the defense, but it was Kevin Murphy able to seal the deal to be able to take his team, you know, in the halftime with the lead. And I give Clint Rice Jr. a lot of credit here. He's done a pretty good job of containing Kevin Murphy, but you got to understand that's only for one half. This young man is going to have a rock in his hand to make some magic happen in a second. And you never know what can happen after you're knocking a big shot like he just did from behind the arc of four points. 
that gives fuel to the fire to get his offensive game going. Murph, second season in the Big Three. He led the league in scoring this year with 25 a game. 12 points he had in that first half, including that four-pointer. Jamario Moon chipped in nine for the three-headed monsters, and as for power, it was Glenn Rice Jr. He had nine for power. Well, he did, but he took on the challenge of trying to guard, you know, Kevin Murphy. Took some tough shots. He'll be an integral part of what's going to happen in the second half. You see the stats right now, 10 for 21 for power, left for 28. Here's Lazy World Go. I'm glad you got that right there, partner. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Taking some picks with the fans. Three-headed monsters shot just 39% from the field. Power 48% in that first half. Power won it all back in 2018. Three-headed monsters, they've been in the playoffs every season of the big three. They've been to the championship game twice. Twice. And have not won it yet. Will this be the year? We'll see. Got another half here. Cat has it taken away by Murph. And he puts it in. Yeah, Nancy tried to get a little click, I mean, quick play for Cat to get by. Was it contact yet? But we've been seeing that all afternoon. That time, Cat unable to finish through that contact. Murph's got 14 now. Royce White mm. powering his way to the basket. One point lead for the three headed monsters. See the intensity here pick up. Oh, yeah. Here's Richard Lewis. Oh! Moon comes flying out of nowhere. Rice. Lewis using that body. He'll call that one on Murphy. And that call and that foul was brought about by the quick movement of power. That time Murph not able to get in that position. He did get some contact, but he threw himself back after he received it. So the official didn't deem that to be an offensive foul. So Royce White shooting one for two. And he's short again. Yeah. Rice the follow, yes, though. Yeah, but you can't. I mean, Royce White shot it short. Three-headed monsters, you can't give up an offensive rebound and then give up a quick score. Here's Murphy. Oh, knocked away by Cat. Yeah, good defense. They want the shot clock to be set at eight seconds. Now again, it's different. Got to talk early. They want to get that ball right in the middle, which they were able to. Cat got Murph right up underneath. The old school play where you hit him right underneath the belt buckle. My oh, man. Look at Glenn Rice Sr. Watching his son play. Here's Moon. Lewis, corner three, short. Rice, yes. One point lead for power. First team to 50 wins it. Got to win by two. Here's Murphy. Oh, Driving, oh. slicing, scoring. I think how slick that was. Murph turned the corner, didn't have a lot of space to work with. Dipped his shoulder and got right in between real quick to be able to get that shot up. Murph's got 16. Here's Rice now. That shot blocked. But he'll go to the line. Neither team has shot free throws particularly well at all. Three-headed monsters 0 for 2 from the line. Powers just 2 of 6. And Rice knocks it down. Dad approves. 
Yeah, I bet you Glenn Rice and Jimmy is still wet Ooh, just sitting yes, right there. Absolutely. You talking about a high release on the shot that was hard to guard. It was Glenn Rice. Trust me, I got an eye full of him a few times. <laughs> Plus he was 6'8". <laughs> Here's Murphy. Ball fake. Two dribble, pull up. And the foul by Mobley. Murphy looking to add to his game high 16. Make it 18 now. One point lead for power. Again, winner. First team to 50. Got to win by two. Royce White working on Lewis. Rice, step back three, short. And that's a good closeout. Jamario Moon that time close to the body of Glenn Rice Jr. Didn't really go for the pump fake. And that's when Rice Jr. has to be a little bit more disciplined on that. Okay, you see him close out, you still got your dribble, but you got to be on balance. And that time, no balance led to that air ball. Here's Murph. Driving again, hanging, and gets the roll. This guy's turning into a one-man wrecking crew. He's got 20. Well, he's been that way. I mean, and I made the comment that it's a slow start offensively. Not really. He had 12 and a half. <laughs> you know, halfway to his average. <laughs> but he is so tough in traffic, too, right here. Catino Mobley was yelling from the bench, help, meaning for Glenn Rice Jr. to kind of step in a little bit more and maybe take away that sight line to Murph is a little bit more hesitant to drive, but giving him that pathway, yeah, he's able just to dip right in right before you know it, he's at the rip. Here's Royce White. Using that body again. And draws the foul on Richard Lewis. Royce has been to the free throw line now a few a couple of times and not been able to convert, so it may not be a, a bad thing for Rashad Lewis that the foul took place. <laughs> and Reggie did is like, yeah, I gotta bring the fire, man. I don't think that was a foul. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't know if I would have used it on that. Just, just for the fact that Royce hasn't made a free throw, you know, from that perspective. So, KYP, know your personnel and yeah. who it is. I'm not saying that Rashard can't hold his own defensively, but I take my chances with Royce at the free throw line. They go one on one. He can score it. Right. It's point. See? And he throws it in. Now he can do that. You know, in regards to making tough shots at the free throw line is where he had a struggle right here. What is it? Oh my. He tried like eight times, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He was walking his way to uh, Ybor City a little bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> One point lead for power. Uh -oh. Murph nearly lost his footy. Here's Moon, an open three. It's short. Rice, the four. Short. Short. Klein, back to Rice. Missed it. Murphy, yes! Wow, you miss a layup, you don't get out in time, that quick outlet pass to Murph. Even with a defender flying at him, he was still able to concentrate and knock it in. He's got 23. Royce White, the crossover, missed it though. Mario Moon, good hustle. Pushed in the back of the game by yeah. Klein. Fucking layup! Hey! 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 Mario Moon with the 
B1 patches all over him. Maybe that's what's giving him his energy. Yeah, he need it. It's physical. He spend a lot of energy covering a lot of real estate on this court because it's three on three. Speaking of real estate, that time not able to close the deal. Murphy. Bryce working on it. Good dish. Oh, 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 oh. You want to talk about physical. Oh, physical, bro. Man. He put his left shoulder right in the chest. It might have been Rashard Lewis. Watch this. Oh, no, oh, it was Kevin gosh. Murphy. But I just think when a team, when you start to play physical, I think you have to use it against them. Yeah. Because now they're going to want to lean in on you. That's when your offense has to be a little bit more fluid, spread it out a little bit more, use your back cuts and dribble penetration to create those opportunities. Power for power, a lot of times, makes it more difficult. Rice had to get it up because of the shot clock. And three-headed monsters with the follow makes them pay. Four-point lead for the three-headed monsters. They are just 12 points away from victory, thanks to Kevin Murphy. He's got 23, including that three. It's the big three playoffs. Oh, great view in Tampa. Three-headed monsters, 38 power, 34. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and a story of hope and hard work. Followed by a new Big Brother Plus, the Equalizer and NCIS Los Angeles tonight on CBS. Let's take a look at today's monster moment. Cannot gamble with a big three, Jimmy. You can't do it. If you do it, you give up layups like this. You got to be more disciplined. Amir Johnson able to capitalize and reverse take all two of those. Trilogy walking on back to the championship. There you go, Trilogy. Punches their ticket to the finals in Atlanta. And we are in a battle. Physical power. Three-headed monster looking to join the party in Atlanta. Hey, Scal. Yo, you see that sub? I like that. He was ready to go. He had to, Just where, like where that. Where were your glasses at? Could you? They were in my pocket. <laughs> Look at Glenn Rice is doing his thing. Yeah, he is. I mean, listen, he's been a great addition, not to just Bauer, but to, to the big three in general. Because he plays so powerful. You see, his father was in the front row. Father had the smooth jump shot. Well, Glenn Rice Jr. doesn't shoot it as well from behind the three, but always tends to find the bottom of the net. One thing about him can get hot yep. and, and nail off 10 straight. He's got 15 this game. There's Pops right there. Look at that, nodding in approval. Powerhouse has probably lost a little momentum. Let's see what they can do to get this thing back. Well, TJ Klein, as I mentioned to Brian, when he's in the game, the offense operates a little bit differently because of his cutting ability. He never stands still, so let's see if that changes some of the pace of play offensively and gets the offense kind of back into a little rhythm. Uh, for power. Yeah, you, you mentioned that he loves that flare screen slip. Yep. And they love playing out of it. I like this group with power. Well, and also, too, he keeps balls alive and he does that, which is spread the court. Klein up top. And White. Ten on the clock. Oh, inside. Good cut. Rice. And he's fouled. Physical, physical, physical game today right from the jump there it is but I, and I, I tell Brian too I think you, you've been in a lot of physical games but I think the team that adjusts to it and kind of runs their offense spreads the court a little bit more use that physicality against them can do things like this right here get opportunities yeah second chance point good job taking the ball to the basket for white 38 36 Kevin Murphy's been on fire in the second half Boom. Back to Lewis. Paint battle. Murphy up top on the drive. Elevates contact and one. No second shot opportunities. Good hustle that time by Jamario Moon to keep it alive. Lewis didn't have the shot. But then that forces a long closeout on Royce White to Kevin Murphy. Once you give up a little bit of leeway. And Murphy able to slither his way inside, absorb the contact, and get to the free throw. Talked about this man being hot. He has 27 points 
all 15 points for the three-headed monsters. And let's make it 16 mm -hmm. in this half. It's just so tough to guard a player of his caliber because you got to have to give something up. And what is it? I mean, outside shots, but Murphy's done a good job and good defense that time by Jamario Moon. Right side, that look in his eyes. When Iso from the top got it back, laid it in. 41 38. We hit a monster. Murphy up top. Drop his shoulders. Other side of the rim. Up. No. Rebound climb. Spin. It's back and back out. Nine on the clock. Right, looking to go to work. Oh, got the contact. Two. He's got to force it up. Oh, big bucket, and he lets you know about it. <laughs> when in doubt, put it up towards the rib, right? And he, he was never in doubt. When in doubt, he, I'm shooting that thing. <laughs> Two youngsters going at it. And Murphy misses the layup. Big miss. Here's Sweet Lou on the baseline. No. Second chance to opportunity. Lou again. Yes. Talk about that. Will and that fight, Sweet Lou said, I'm getting this bucket. I'm going to tell you what. Sometimes it's not pretty, Scal, because guys want it so much to be able to complete it and get to the championship. And it's, my goodness, and Sweet Lou who carried the three-headed monster for so many years in this league. You know, Sweet Lou, first points tonight. He's been that guy in former MVP. Oh, yeah. Different role here. Here's Klein on the cut. It's going to be five fouls for power. Well, you know, it was, it was to the point early in the league where the same kind of accolades we're giving Kevin Murphy and Joe Johnson and Glenn. It was all about how do you stop, you know, Sweet Lou. That's right. How do you stop him? Inside, outside. Outside. He was giving you game winners. So it's good to see that he's still contributing to a championship run here with three-headed monsters. At the big free throw, Power gets it back. They'll be shooting and getting it back the rest of the way. Glenn Rice Jr. doesn't know it. Knows it now. Yes, he does. And, and, and this is where you can't bail out your opponent. If you're Power, keep going at three-headed monsters and force them to have to guard you. A little bit of a bailout. Yep. Kevin Murphy up top on Klein. Attack. Pulls up. No. Moon. Been big today. Huge, bro. And how many times have you seen teams that get to a championship? Yes, it's your main player, but it's someone else stepping up big time, making that contribution. And Sweet Lou, Mario Moon coming up big. NC Lieberman wants to talk it over, takes a timeout. We'll say this this game has been contentious from the start. The first seven points. Oh yeah. To get to the first break, the halftime. Everything has been fought for in this battle. The big possession for power. Well, but also, too, here's, here's the thing about it. Nancy talked about it, and I said this before, I'm going to repeat it. They wanted to make Kevin Murphy a passer. But what happens is, Reggie Theus is doing a good job of spreading out the court and putting Kevin Murphy in the middle. So it's hard to help. That time, when you help just a little bit too much on the shot, you give up an offensive rebound. So it's a, it's a catch-22 when you try to help a little bit too much on a dynamic score like Murphy. You give up something. Price, loader. Oh, and one! to talk about Kevin Murphy. <laughs> Glenn Rice said, I want in on the conversation. Well, but it's the same thing. This time, Nancy Lieberman positions Glenn Rice Jr. in the middle of the court to go one-on-one, -on -one and the help comes late. And the creativity and the concentration allows Rice to make that shot. Big free throw. Makes it, gets it back. Oh, you got to make those. It's back anyway. Guess, who, guess who tipped it? DJ Klein. Klein. Crossover. Contact. No call. And they got a foul on. He called first of all to Murphy. Oh, he did call it on yeah. Murphy. Just it's late, late whistle. Just late whistle. 
which is the right call. I mean, the way I saw it, it looked like it was going to be a foul. See, here it is. Watch right there. That's the foul That's right the foul. there. That's a foul. And no, yeah, you can look at it all you want. That's a foul. It's late. It's late, but it is a foul. Yeah, right call. All right, Glenn Rice at the line. Could give power, one point lead, and the ball with a make. Ooh, another one. Another opportunity left at the line. On the wing, kicks it out. Oh, inside, Sweet Lou, fade away. Long, TJ Klein. Quick rebound. He'll go to the line. The, the impact that Klein has. Game-winning plays a lot of times. Kept the possession alive before, and this time he gets inside position on Murphy. Again, the toughest guard to guys, the one that's never standing still, that's always active. Great energy plays by TJ. Yep. Keeping balls alive. One thing about Power is you watch their team play, they understand their roles. Everybody knows from Glenn Rice getting buckets, right. Tina Mobley making shots early. That's a big free throw for TJ. Yep. So now here's your where you should teach it because you're up one point. Yeah, a four-pointer can win it. Three gets you closer. You want to get the best available shot or get yourself back to the free throw line. And Nancy's thinking exactly what you're thinking. Because he saw that look when Rice was going to shoot the four. Let's talk this over. She, KYP, know your personnel, yeah, man. She knows her she, players. Uh, she do. And now Nancy is really... up that back door cut. They'll do a lot of action. I can't imagine Clint Rice passing this ball unless it's for a wide open layup. They might run that action, but... Yeah, or they run something to get it back to him while the defense is moving so he can attack. All right, so remember, Trilogy sitting back, booking tickets to the ATL, waiting to see what happens in this game. Think about power, man. They've been playing good basketball the last five weeks. Yep. A part of it, too, the commitment for them to stay in Dallas and not leave for the last four weeks. Allowed that team to go together, and plus, Steve's Vitti playing much better basketball, impactful basketball. All right, let's see it. Ask him for the screen. Uh oh, oh the big turnover. Oh. See, a, the action was to get him and have probably Rice come off of it. Miscommunication. Miscommunication. That's the wrong time. And three headed monsters with the lead. We're trying to run the same play right here. Get the switch. Oh, he's going for it. Hey. See, the problem is, the ch here's a challenge. When you shoot a quick four pointer like that, and it's an air ball, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. This. Now, your opposing team is more than likely going to be under the rim like it was right there. And you're either going to give up the, the layup or you're going to get a foul call. Don't sleep on that foul by TJ Klein. That's a big... That could be huge for them. Not giving up the layup, yeah. right? Yeah. Mario Moon sticks it anyways. Yeah. And they get the ball back. No. Nope. It's all right. They're, they're, they're not, not in the penalty. penalty. Yeah. They're not in the penalty. Yeah. The power up top. Glenn Rice still have the ball in his hands to make a play. Go to the basket. See if you can get fouled, retain the possession on the back end of it. If you are able to make your free throw. Rice, get downhill. Attack, float. Yes. Need to get a stop. Everybody in the gym knows it's going to number 55. And they're going to talk it over. Kevin Murphy said, I don't want to talk it over. I know what I'm doing. That was real easy. Just give me the ball yeah. and keep it clear. I mean, what play are you going to really draw up at this point if you're Three. Reggie Theus? I know you may want some movement on the baseline so you don't help in, but the ball is going to be in Kevin Murphy's hand in the middle of the court. So, Fendi, Glenn Rice Jr., Kevin Murphy show. Glenn Rice Jr., 23 points, 14 in the second half.
Week 5, Kevin Murphy hit a four-point shot to win the game for the three-headed monsters over triplets. Three-headed monsters won 50-44. You don't have to go for the four here, but you know that ball is going to be in his hands. Well, but here, here's the thing. If you're Reggie, you don't want to bring anybody to Kevin Murphy. You want to keep everybody flat on the baseline and allow him to go to work. Here we go, Kevin Murphy up top. Goes away, spins up, blocked! Great defensive wow. play by Glenn Rice Jr. You're talking about stepping up and accepting the challenge. These two have been going at each other all afternoon. And just when Kevin Murphy thought he had a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel to get that up, it was Glenn Rice Jr. Saying, no, not on my watch. Watch that slip by T.J. Klein going to the basket, faking the screen. Yep. There it is. Oh, another big block by Lou. White up top, 10 on the clock. Inside. Rice with the foul. Oh! This will be a take foul, so he won't get to shoot him on this one. Nope. Ball out on the side. Yeah, it's going to be side out. Remember, you can't win that on, a, first, on the first foul. It happens again, they will shoot. Yeah, because they're in the penalty. 14 on the clock. You know, the ball's going back to Rice. <laughs> oh, up top. Rice for the foul! Glenn Rice Jr. with the win! Punching his ticket. To Atlanta. Now we go back to the replay here. It was TJ Klein again having an imprint on the game. Glenn Rice Jr. A phenomenal second half. You knew that he would be a key indicator if Power was able to find themselves in the championship game. 26 points, 17 in the second half. And of course, the game winning three point field goal right in front of his father. They're loving every minute of it. One more look at the action. Very similar to game one with Trilogy, where Earl Clark sealing the deal from behind the three point line. And right now, Brian Scalabrini is with the man, Glenn Rice Jr. What, I mean, what is, something happens and you click. What happened in this game? And then we just, just got to start getting down. And you know, when we start getting down, you got to bring in something else and just dig a little deeper. And that's all yeah. we did. Okay, got it. Hey, you know. what's up, Miles? Sam, we love you. We Miles! See you. We see you next week, baby. Yes, sir. See you next week. Well, boy, boy, Miles in this thing. You and Kevin Murphy are going back and forth that entire second half. Like, what gets into you when you guys are going through that battle? Uh, really nothing. It's really, it's really like home for us because we grew up in the same place, playing pickup in the same places. So it's just something we were used to. So, you know, we just both super competitive all the time. And as you've seen, he scored the ball extremely well. We just luckily got lucky on this one. And good, good luck going to Atlanta. You got Isaiah Briscoe. You got the trilogy. Good luck. Get it done. Thank you. Thank you. You got it. We'll take a look at the bracket right now. Trilogy able to swing out a five-point victory to put themselves back in position to repeat. And now you have power with the two-point win. Big time shot by Glenn Rice Jr. Putting themselves in the championship round. Two former champions going at it next Sunday. And ironically, two of the hottest teams coming into the playoffs yes. right now able to face each other. Yeah, two teams that didn't start out hot but nope. ended hot. That's the beauty of the big three. Look at Tino, Glenn Rice. He's probably older than Glenn Rice. <laughs> <laughs> he told, that, your son's a bad boy. He might be better than you. <laughs> Glenn was like, hold up, partner. We're not going to take it that far. <laughs> you might not have some of that game. There's Katina Mo, but he's happy. Power, punching their ticket. Man, it's going to be an unbelievable week in Atlanta. How do you differentiate the two? Because they play so different. Yeah. You got the size and athleticism 
of Trilogy, maybe shorthanded in the backcourt against, I think, a team in power that loves movement, that loves to operate in their half court sets, kind of different philosophies, but yet still they're both effective. It will be a big challenge for Trilogy from this standpoint. Isaiah Briscoe is a physical guard, yep. and he might not be able to get physical against that power team, so they're going to have to find a different way to win. Hopefully I didn't motivate him. He calls me out next time I interview him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the game. And power up. Tonight on CBS Begin 60 Minutes, Big Brother, the Equalizer, NCIS, Los Angeles, Jim Jackson, our entire crew. I'm Brian Scalabrini. This has been a presentation of